Hello, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> woke up in my hotel in Seattle this morning and uh, to the news that Barry Morphew was arrested. And as you guys know, I've pretty much stayed away from this case uh, when we're dealing with uh, hot new cases uh, such as this, that there are very few details. I don't update unless something really big happens, then I'll, I'll do an update. But I listen to all of the smaller details that other people report on. And um, I think it was Mother's Day last year that Susan Morphew went missing in Colorado. You know, Shafi County, uh, Shafi County. I'm sorry if I get the pronunciation wrong, uh, but it was in Colorado when she went missing on Mother's Day. And today her husband was arrested for first degree murder. Wow. On the case. And it, even though the suspicious things that you see, uh, I think there's a couple things that stood out to me. He wasn't involved in any of the searches, had a shotgun keeping people away, uh, reports of him smelling like bleach and uh reports from someone said he had a bunch of insurance letters uh you know seems suspicious i always believe you know don't send a lynch mob after somebody as i have no problem waiting for all of the details to come out in court to see what exactly took place but with all that being said, uh, on his arrest today, which is on Mother's Day, well, not Mother's Day, Mother's Day, right before Mother's Day, Mother's Day will be Sunday, Cinco de Mayo, and I think it was May 10th that she went missing. I guess what I, when I think about situations like this is, when I started in true crime, I'm watching true, true crime, one of the biggest things I used to always say is, you gotta be stupid to try to commit murder because you have one brain and you are about to do something for the majority is the first time they've never murdered anyone before. And you have one brain and you're about to go against seasoned, veter seasoned veterans at catching murderers. You're about to go against a team of people in the city that you did it in, in the state that you did it in. And with the FBI, the government, uh, people who have college degrees along with their veteran expertise at catching people. And you have to be 100% correct. If you're 99.9% .9 uh, right, that little 0.1% is what's going to get you caught. You have to do this on your first time. So when I look at the math, I look at them and I think that this is crazy. But now when you, I've worked so many stories and cases, my opinion has changed. I, I kind of understand why people will, will try to do this. Again, this is assuming he did it. We don't know if he's done anything. But if we assume that, let's say, let's say that he did it, right? What would make someone go through with it after planning or being that upset or wanting insurance money or whatever the motive is to cause a person to want to end someone else's life? You guys know I'm working on the Karen Bodine case. She was walking down the street. I'm about to do another case where someone ran down the street. I do Brittany Shank, who was walking down the street after a vehicle accident. I'm not dealing or haven't been looking into cases where everyone is a mad scientist, uh, have perfect IQ scores, they're regular people, and these people are getting away, away with murder left and right. So my opinion has changed as to I understand why people think that they can get away with it. I understand why they are willing to risk their entire lives and destroy the lives of everyone around them uh, that's connected. People that they don't even think about, you know, uh, how they are affecting, such as Susan Morphew's children, be it if it was Barry or anyone else. We live in a very, very crazy world because Susan allegedly was either left at home or on a, uh, or, or I think riding a bike uh, or, or exercising that morning. The point being, allegedly, she was at, alone and all these people are alone and things happen to them and they lose their life. You got to be careful out here in these streets. I don't think that you can afford to think, oh, this is the stuff that happens in the movies. I think you should think that this can happen to you. 
if you know if this was a domestic situation and you are in some kind of relationship trouble where you think uh, he a little crazy but i don't think he'll be that crazy probably every wife who thought the same thing you did that lost their life felt the same way or maybe he'll a little crazy but he ain't that he's not gonna go through with it that way you got to protect yourself you know i used to feel bad i used to feel like i'm kind of sexist because i get afraid to see women jogging at night um but and i don't worry i always worry like if you jog at night i'm very very paranoid and scared for a woman um i feel that way unapologetically now i don't care who feelings it hurt i just don't we live in a crazy horrible world if you look into the details and the things uh i'm not gonna give out any names or or, or whatever but um someone recently told me that uh in the case in texas with the mother regan her baby was taken out of her stomach because she trusted someone on facebook the media is trying to say they were close friends they weren't close friends she, they liked each other went out on a couple little friend like dates but they weren't close friends um she was a photographer at her wedding and taylor went to her home and, and cut the baby out and killed her and i now know the brutal details that the public don't know about that bloody room i now know that this baby was cut it was cut and i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna correct my word i'm not gonna say i know i'm gonna say i was told from credible people that the baby was cut um i was told how taylor had the placenta down her pants when the cops pulled her over uh to make it look like she gave birth we live in a crazy world and you better stop thinking stuff can't happen to you and you guys better protect yourselves out there uh, driving on these long roads all the way through Oregon, through Washington and stuff and just seeing as I'm driving, I'm like, oh, here's Highway 20 where all those go murders happen from the serial killer. And then I drive up and as I'm driving in Washington to get to uh, film up here. I'm looking at a sign that says Green River and I'm thinking about all of these woods and trees that I'm seeing. This is where all these women's dead bodies were dumped by another serial killer. I'm just driving to one location, passing sites where women bodies were dumped. One woman in the highway, 20 uh, killers, uh, wanted to ride home from a party at the worst night of her life. Look that up or wait for me to cover it because I will be covering that case. But protect yourselves, man. Just protect yourselves because a lot of these people are getting away with this stuff. And uh, I don't know if Barry did it, but if Barry did do it, I'm so glad that uh, the FBI along with CBI and everyone was able to work together to catch the correct person that did it, assuming if he did do it. Um, and at least one more story is ended because the more we catch these guys trying to kill their wives, who I think are punks, you got to be a punk. Uh, I went through a divorce. A lot of men went through a divorce. We didn't try to kill our wives. We did what you're supposed to do. You stick out through the hard times in life and you continue to live, be right by people and, and good things happen to you. So I think that you're a punk. I think you're trying to take the easy way out when you want to kill someone who you once loved more than everybody on the planet. Everybody on the entire planet. You had that amount of admiration and love for this person. And now you want them to be the last thing that they see on earth, I think you're punk. So just, just be careful and protect yourselves. A lot of people are getting away with it uh, and we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna report on every single update, but uh, I'll report on this again in the future when something major happens or maybe after the court case ends. That's all I wanted to say. You guys enjoy your day. I'm about to take this long drive home.